How many acres do you have here, Dick? We have ten and a half acres. And, Dick uh, Hones and his family have been raising sheep, sheep on their farm in the Rutland open, Town so since 1985. The sheep help keep the land open, but there is one problem. It's very difficult to get a shearer. Most shearers do it part-time. They're not. A, it's not a full-time job for them. They can't be. They have to have, do have some other income, so they can only do it when they can. As for the do-it-yourself approach, well, when it comes to shearing sheep, that's easier said than done. I tried it once. I even bought some electric shearers, and I tried it, and it took me two hours to do one ram, and I said, and with four people helping me, and I said, that's it. I said, no, I got to get somebody else to do this. Enter Jim McCray. You really need to like to do this if you really want to do it. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, there are 10,000 sheep in Vermont, but only 10 professional shearers. Every year, sheep need to be sheared. It's unhealthy for them not to be. And uh, so there is a tremendous need for shearers. Uh, there's obviously less sheep in Vermont than there was uh, you know, 140 years ago. Um, but there, is, uh, there are a lot of hobby flocks and uh, a lot of opportunities for people uh, to raise sheep in Vermont, a lot of uh, uh, open, open land that needs to be kept open. And so um, there is a need. Like Holmes, the need to find a shearer is what impelled McRae to give it a go in the first place. The saying, necessity is the mother of invention, obviously didn't come from someone trying to shear sheep. Oh my, yeah, I had plenty of problems. I vividly remember shearing, I think my first sheep it took me about 40 minutes to shear. And she came out in one piece, and I was pleased. Um, but I said, there's got to be a better way than this. McRae's search for a better way brought him to the University of Vermont Extension's Sheep Shearing School, held annually by Extension Livestock Specialist Chet Parsons. Chet's done an excellent job through the years of getting local shearers to come and, and to help. And uh, it's a sort of a low-key, fun approach to things. And, uh, and I think that really helps. Uh, you, you know, you could have a commercial operation, I suppose, uh, but really you, uh, extension, this is part of extension's, I, uh, I, I believe, it's part of extension's uh, focus and, and part of their job. And I think this is like uh, one of the, I think, really best things that U extension does, UVM extension does for the sheep industry. Despite the efforts of those involved in the shearing school, the lack of trained shearers is not unique to Vermont. Worldwide, the sheep industry is experiencing a shortage of professional shearers as well. Like many professions that were tied to agriculture and thrived a century ago, sheep shearing is becoming a lost art. It's one thing to learn the pattern and to learn how to hold a sheep with your, with your body and, your, and, and, and the right pressure points using your feet and, and whatnot. But then uh, to make it uh, almost a beautiful thing, uh, you know, to be constantly moving, uh, one thing you learn about sheep shearing is if you're fighting the sheep, you're going to lose the battle. So you have to hold the sheep and be able to uh, move her along and shear without stressing her too much and without having too much of a battle. I can sit a you down and, and start to shear and uh, um, I, I concentrate on, on uh, making each stroke maybe a little bit better or doing a little, something a little bit different and I think it's really rewarding to me. Now that's, I'd be a liar if I said it's always that way. but. That's what I shoot for, and that's really why I enjoy it. In his effort to preserve this art form, McRae has taken on two apprentices, Elizabeth Willis and Tom Billadu. For 13-year-old Billadu, farming is a lifelong love. I go up to my uncle's every summer, and I farm, and I just love farming since I was really young. Right, there you go. That's the way to do it. Use that other hand. Tim's a really good teacher. Because he tells them how to hold the handpiece and okay. how to, what motions and everything. So just, you do, once you get down to the skin, you'll be all set. Just go slow. He's scrappy, he's interested, and he seems to like to work. So uh, we're, we're hoping that he's going to be the next shearer along the line. The line of shearers McCray mentors extends back almost 10 years to Elizabeth Willis. Across the fence first met McCray and Willis when she was in 4-H, and just learning the wild and woolly ways of sheep farming. Willis is now a professional shearer herself, and her teacher sees how the student is quickly becoming the master. Elizabeth is a really good shearer. I do occasionally look over and see how far ahead of she is. 
<laughs> and most of the time, she's way ahead. Everything I know about sheep, from like lambing to doing prolapses to working my dog, sheep shearing, everything I know about sheep is from Jim. And I don't know what I would do without him, because any problem I have, I'll come and ask him. And usually, he tells me I know the answer, but I still have to ask just to make sure I know the right answer. Shearing sheep requires patience, practice, and perseverance, not to mention the physical stamina it takes to handle animals that can be twice the weight and height of the shear. I had sheep when I actually could not lift up. We had to shear them lying down and roll them over. Uh, we sheared well over, I think, well over 1,500 sheep last year and we for well over 2,000 this year. And, um, and it's actually uh, really hard work. It's uh, sometimes physically exhausting. Uh, we're at the point now where you can both shear eight hours a day uh, sitting at the board, and we try to average at least 10 sheep an hour, uh, sometimes more if they've been sheep. Uh, so it's a good day's work, and uh, the pay isn't bad, but it's, uh, it takes a lot out of you. A professional shearer in Vermont can make between $5 and $10 per sheep. For the farmer, that cost can't compare to the convenience and care taken by hiring a professional. The great thing about having Jim as a friend also, as a shearer, that he can come and take care of it when we need it to be done. The kind of shearing we do is, is not where we shear, you know, thousands of sheep over a week. Um, we go from place to place, and most uh, flocks in Vermont, I would say they probably average less than 20. And uh, most of our flocks, I would say, are in the, you know, four or five. Occasionally we'll stop for one pet ram. Uh, but somebody's got to do it. And uh, if not, you're, you're actually discouraging these people from having animals if you don't have shearers. So uh, it's a real, there is a real need, and it's, uh, you know, I encourage people who are interested in it to, to try it. In the hands of dedicated and passionate professionals like Willis and McRae, the lost art of sheep shearing may be found again. In Rutland Town, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.